how to make fufu from scratch note we already soaked the cassava for like three days and as you can see this is the soaked cassava that we are washing to make fufu this is the best way and most easy way to make fufu you just have to stay tuned and watch this video to the end to learn my grandma's step-by-step -step process of making fufu which is called akbu so after washing the cassava you can clearly see that we're turning it inside this bag to drain the water out so that we can get the cassava dough to make the akbu So after pressing it this way, we'll put it in another bowl and then press it again. Turn the water away and put it in another bowl. Why some people, they do press it overnight by putting, after tying it in the white bag like this, you put something on top and leave it overnight. That same way, it's okay. But because my grandmom do not want to get that strong akbu odor so she would just make sure we drain out the water that same day we're making the akbu after draining the water very well pressing it this way then we get our dough dry dough so this is the dough that we want after the soaking washing and pressing this is exactly the kind of dough that you need to make the nigeria authentic akbu <laughs> so watch this video carefully to learn the process of how to make akbu so with this process of my grandma showing us of how to make nigeria authentic akbu so i think i'll be able to make mine yes when i go to my husband's house <laughs> so so grandma has been making akbu for years now but we are the one consuming it the family so sometimes she do make for my aunties and my uncle abroad so she do make for them and
here comes the end of the vlog of how to make authentic nigeria apple so guys i hope you learned one or two from this video of how to make akbu and see you on my next video bye